Hey friends, Becca here from Inside the Square. First up, I got a brand new space shirt yesterday and I was really excited about it, but that's not why I'm recording this video. I'm recording this because I had a nightmare last night. I had a nightmare that I got an email from someone who purchased the CSS cheat sheet who was so frustrated with it that they had no idea what to do with the information. They were super confused and that was the part that hurt the most. They didn't understand how to use this awesome new resource that they had just purchased. So I wanted to record this quick video to show you exactly what my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet is, what you'll find in there, and how to get it. So uh, without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen and show you around. Here it is in all its glory, the Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I have a little intro video over here, but if you scroll down, we've got an update section. When I add new things, I'll link to them right there. But this is the bulk of the content here in the Squarespace CSS cheat sheet, the selector list. If you click into any of these things, like a content block, you're going to see all the selectors you can use to make your custom code for that content block. If you want to change the font family for a form field error, that is the selector that you'll need to use. I've also got some pro tips in there, like the fact that the section line is actually a bottom border. You might not know that, so I threw that in there. Then I also have pre-made snippets. This is where you'll find code that I've already written for you that you can literally copy and paste right into your Squarespace website. Some of these are from my blog, and some of them are just me being a little creative, like replacing the submission error with my own text. You can copy this and customize it so it suits the style of your own Squarespace website. I also have selectors for things like page sections, like maybe you want to change something about a list section. I've got tons of snippets in here too. And then we also have things for global elements, like the header of your website. Now, if you're using version 7.1, you'll find codes here, but you'll also find codes for version 7. I have some of the selectors for Brine and Bedford content in here. Different elements for older versions of Squarespace will use different selectors, and you'll find them here in the CSS cheat sheet. Now, if you are brand new to code, you can scroll down here and check out the additional resources section. Here, I have a ton of awesome content, like troubleshooting tips, my font and text properties guide, a glossary of CSS symbols, and of course, basic CSS for Squarespace to walk you through the process of using these codes. Lots of fun information in here and tons of stuff for you to explore. So when you're ready to customize Squarespace, this right here is going to be the database that you want access to. Now that Notion database used to be a PDF, but in April 2023, I moved it over to Notion. And when you purchase the CSS cheat sheet, you get access to that link, which means you will always have the latest and greatest information. Anytime Squarespace adds something new, I can add new selectors and snippets, and you can open up that same page that you've bookmarked in your browser and see the new codes that you have to work with. They just introduced a blog paywall last week, and I got to throw those codes in there the day that they went live and share all kinds of creative ideas, which was super fun. So again, to grab a copy of this, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're brand new to code and you're not quite ready for all this information, I want to teach you the basics. You can find hundreds of tutorials on my site, but you can also find my free guide that's going to walk you through how to create your own custom code for Squarespace. Grab a copy of that at insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.